Welcome back to the City Current Show. I'm your host, Jeremy Park. We're always honored to bring you inspiring stories of individuals and organizations making a difference and powering the good. And we love talking about retreats and fitness and nutrition and so much more. We're joined by Chris Interest. She's the founder and the CEO of Rock Springs Retreat Center. How are you doing, Chris? I'm doing great, Jeremy. And thank you for having us or having me to the show. Absolutely. So you have quite an amazing backstory and uh, and that's you personally and then what led you to launch this retreat center. And there's so much more in terms of fitness and nutrition, but Give us a little bit of just your backstory and what led you to open this retreat center. You know, I have a very interesting backstory and we won't go too deep into that, but you know, I've been super lucky. I've worked in a lot of different verticals. Um, I came from the healthcare side of it when I was younger. And um, after grad school, I went out and bought a company with a group of people to turn it around. And that was in hospitality technology. From there, when I sold my company, um, I was asked to take over as CEO of World Hotels, which is an international hotel chain around the world. And um, you know, I did that for about two years. I was in 45 countries a year, so I kind of lived out of a plane. And you know, and when you live out of a plane and you do a lot of toasting, you happen to go to a lot of cocktail parties. And uh, so I had always been an athlete. I had been a professional athlete at one time. And um, so towards the end of that tenure, uh, I was a uh, definitely living on the road of war- road warrior and um, the corporate world. And my mom actually fell ill. My mom had been a therapist, this amazing woman. Um, she ended up with terminal cancer. And, you know, you make decisions when you, when you get to a certain age of what's more important. So I actually resigned and um, took a little bit of time. But my mom was an amazing, inspiring woman that always said, if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of other people. So, you know, I took that to heart and I went off to a fitness retreat. Not because I had gained a ton of weight, because I didn't feel good. And I knew that going into that, I had to be mentally prepared and ready to be all cylinders um, on to take care of her. So I went to one and it was kind of life-changing. And there were a lot of things that weren't perfect. There were a lot of things that I thought could be improved as a business person, but that's not why I was there. So when I came back, she passed very quickly. So she lived only about another six weeks. And I said, wow, I resigned from my job. I'm at a different point. So I move quickly. And when I have an idea, it kind of, you got to hold on for dear life. So I said, I can do that better. And it was so life-changing for watching other people as well. And I was at a point in my life where financially I could and realizing when you hit a point in your life, what's really important. So I um, went back again, dragged my husband and my administrator and said, drink the Kool-Aid. And about two weeks later, I purchased the property. And about six months later, we were open. So we got there and I decided that life is too short and sharing it with others and trying to help others uh, find that reset was just uh, all inspiring. So, And I think that's an important piece of the equation is knowing the backstory, the passion, the purpose, and obviously, you know, knowing that you have this background and yet it's like, okay, I can do this for all the right reasons and I can do it well and better than what was done before. And now let's make this thing happen. So talk about where it is in terms of location. It's in the Nashville area, but go ahead and describe the retreat center. You know, it's the beating heart of America. I mean, we really are kind of where the North meets the South and the people are pure and quality is great, but weather as well. So we're about 40 miles North of Nashville. So close enough to play close enough to kind of spend some time and and uh, Nashville's such an amazing place. And so, you know, but we're far enough away that you kind of don't know where you are in the world. So we're just a little bit north. Um, we're on 200 acres and you would have no idea where you are. We call it kind of the dirty dancing for today, right? Or an adult playground where you come through these amazing gates and you're just here. And when you walk in, we take over. We uh, take all those difficult decisions away and we just allow you to be in this present mode and um, kind of re you know, reset your life, find yourself. And so as much as you can, obviously through a a microphone, describe the amenities because you have a pool, a fitness area, obstacle courses. I mean, you've got all sorts of stuff going on. So describe the campus. Did I mention a playground? Yeah. So we don't play anymore as adults. We really don't. I mean, children laugh 200 times a day and adults laugh about 10 times. You know, that really good roaring belly laugh. So we have everything from an obstacle course. It's a 5K. We're one of the only permanent ones in the United States. Um, we have the pool, the hot tub. We have a spa. We have places you can hide out. We have a game room. We have a movie theater. We have 80,000 square feet of workout areas. But 
that's a basketball court. That's a sand volleyball court. That's pickleball. That's all these things that you used to do when you were young, you know, so it's not one size fits all. Sometimes we have to remind people they're not 20 again or 18, but, um, but we always try to say, let's just make sure we, you know, enjoy, go home and enjoy yourself again. We have a Frisbee golf course. We have a putting green. We even have bull riding, you know? So I think if you can imagine it, we might've gone there. Yeah, I'd say when you, when you go to the spectrum of like the challenge course, the obstacle versus the bull riding, that's a good, and then the spa. And a spa. I mean, and that's a, a spa. Pretty good so. cover, right? Exactly. Yeah. So part of this is, and it goes back to your fitness focus and your story is uh, Fit Farm. And so that is a piece of this. Go ahead and dive in deep on what you do on the fitness side. Perfect. You know, uh, Fit Farm is a, when we came up with the name, I guess the connotation, I wasn't thinking all the way through. People associate it to a fat farm. But really the reason I did it is my husband and I met when we were seven and he was the farm boy and I was the city girl. And all the farm kids were just so strong. You know, our family had been farmers, right? They eat right, they're active. You know, they're not sitting in a gym, but you definitely don't want to meet them in a back alley. You know, and so I just thought that was the purity of America. You know, we were out, we were engaged, we were eating food from the farm. And so Fit Farm was really kind of that combination of how do we get back to that, right? It's not extremism and weird diets and crazy things. It's be active. So Fit Farm was meant to be an active retreat. You know, there's a lot of places where you sit around a pool and drink a mimosa and say, I feel better, you know, and here it was, let's move, let's do things. And so you know, Fit Farm really originated from, it's seven hours of activity, but that's a lot of different activity, a walk around, a hike up in the hills, um, kayaking, you know, so it wasn't meant to be a passive approach to getting healthy. It was an active approach. Carry that forward because part of that is the learning that goes with it as well. So it's going through the activities, but also as a personal trainer, like learning what's good and what you should be doing so that you can carry that home with you. And then Absolutely. also on the nutrition side, how to eat healthy, prepare healthy meals. The education is a big piece of this as well. Well, and it's frightening for people. They've been inundated by so many different kinds of diets and extreme behaviors that they don't even know what normal looks like again. So we really do a lot of one-on-one. We take you all the way back to the beginning of what's a protein and a carb and a healthy fat and why you need all of them. We, uh, we do a lot of education throughout the day. So we do everything from nutrition to cooking classes to uh, life coaching, you know, kind of how did I get here? What's my mindset? You know, it's not a therapy, but it's more of a who am I and where am I at in my life? And so we really balance it with you can't just help one part if you're not inspiring all parts of your life, right? You know, and so- those pillars are super important, but sometimes people don't know how to search for that. They don't know something is missing. So they kind of focus on weight, which we all do at times in our life, but then they realize it's so much more. They thought they came here for that, but what they recognize was they are missing a lot of components and just the camaraderie. The journey is with other people that are on that. And so, you know, it really is to your point, Jeremy, it's just everything. It's, and so we dive into all of them. When you look at the the variety of offerings, not just with Fit Farm, but obviously with the retreat center overall, you've got a lot to offer, which means you have a lot of ways that groups and individuals and families can use you. And so talk about how people and organizations can plug in because weddings, corporate events, families, talk about all the different opportunities to kind of plug in with different groups. Perfect. You're right. We have 200 acres and it's just gorgeous, right? So not utilizing it to give back to everybody be really a waste, right? So we utilize the property in a lot of ways, but from a corporate perspective, that was my world, all the board meetings, all the offsites, you know, and so often we tried to be creative, but we really didn't engage an active uh, relationship with our coworkers, right? You know, so when you do the leadership tower, that's a military leadership tower that says team building, understanding that working together, um, if you walk and talk strategically, you will be more proficient, right? And so we sit in boardrooms and say, let's be healthy. Well, let's get out of the boardroom and actually go out and be active in that. You can have a meeting around our fire pit. You can have a meeting down at our, by the pond. I mean, those areas are internet capable. We have internet throughout the property. So why have the meeting inside when you can go outside? There's blackboards and whiteboards. So we really engage that mindset. And then on the wedding side, you know, we're supposed to enjoy our wedding. You know, it's super stressful. And people are like, I just want everybody to have fun. I want to have fun. You know, so when was the last time you went to a wedding and there's bull riding if you wanted it, right? Or 
playing basketball or bocce ball or so we really try to say let's go outside COVID has really kind of inspired that safety component there's also a let's get out and enjoy it rather than you know work all the way up to this magical day and then the stress is there so you know we 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 have a stables and indoor facility for weddings so that way then the climate component so we really just we want it to be play doesn't matter what part of your life is enjoy your wedding enjoy your corporate event enjoy your life what's been the feedback so far or some of the feedback that's put a smile on your face when you look at the transformation or like you say a wedding where they can actually enjoy the wedding and everyone can have some fun what's been some of the feedback that's put a smile on your face so far you know i feel like i'm always smiling when i'm up there it's you know people want to take you aside constantly and just tell you how they, they changed your life but I'm also a trainer up there. I'm a life coach up there. So you would, you would be shocked, Jeremy, how many times I'm in teaching or training and someone will come up and say, oh my God, this place has changed my life. The owners must be so proud of themselves. You know, and I'm kind of like, is that your question? You know, so people are just, they can't stop talking about it, but it really is, we have something called a rock out every week. And that's where we, everybody's forced to paint a rock. You have to be a kid again. And they sit around and they talk about their experience and what to pass on. And it's pretty tear jerking. I mean, I don't care how many CEOs of companies we've had. It's everybody talks about what they've gotten. And we had, you know, we have some powerful, powerful stories. Last week I was up there and a young man was with us for many months. And he said, I never really had a mother figure. And he goes, I didn't really know what it felt like to be loved. And he said, you know, I am walking away confident as a human being, not because I lost weight, because I realized I was worthy, you know, and, and he came from money and he's had a great life, but he just, that's when you just sit there and go, wow, I have forever impacted people's lives. And at weddings, uh, the moms get along, right? You know, a lot of times it's so stuffy in situations where the family doesn't let loose and just enjoy it. So when both moms can come up and say, you know, we were stressed about this day because they don't always get along. I'm like, this was amazing. You know, or the bride comes up and just says, you know, I saw my friends having fun and it just brought me to tears, you know? And so it, it, it's it's always that you touch someone personally and the story is there. Absolutely. So how has this changed you? Because obviously you've gone through a lot, but when you look at going through even the process of opening it and now seeing this firsthand, how has all this changed you and your perspective on your ability to make a difference in the lives of others? You know, it's, I've garnered a lot of humility and respect for um, people like my mom, therapists and people that really, put the rubber to the road. You know, I've always been on stage and really impacted thousands of people in different ways where when you really create that intimacy and you hear the stories, it's just so much humility and, and understanding the power of that. So I think that's changed me significantly. COVID, obviously we had to shut down numerous times, but then just watching how much when people came out of that, how much they needed, you know, we do, we do Myers-Briggs and we do um, love languages and, and people didn't need touch before COVID, right? You know, and all of a sudden they're like, I just need a hug, you know? And so reconnecting there has really kind of made me realize how powerful that one on is. What's one more thing that you wish everyone knew about Rock Springs Retreat Center? You no, know, I wish everyone knew it was for everyone, right? You know, sometimes we read something and we don't see ourselves in that, you know, we're too frightened to take the chance, you know, of, I might not like the food and I'm, I'm there, right? Or I'm not gonna be able to keep up or I just, I used to be able to be, you know, in shape and now I can't. We talk ourselves um, so many things. And I think, you know, we struggled with the website because we wanna speak to the audience that says I'm ready for a change. And that comes in so many different forms. And so I think if I could get people to understand just trust in the journey because we'll take you through it. And we meet you where you're at. We've had people who can't walk from the cabins because they're 85 years old and they just want to walk again. You know, and they're not, they're not playing basketball, but that's not what they're there for. So I think it's just recognizing that we meet you at your journey. Wrap up with contact information. So your website, social media, website's a fun one because you can see all the pictures and everything come to life right. and the amenities and all the hospitality. But where do we go to learn more? Where do we go to book our, our trips and our uh, retreats and our weddings? Where do we go? Rockspringsrc.com. And we have a booking engine, um, but we invite you to call. You know, I mean, it's an experience. So you can book on our website. You can call. All the information is there. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, 
um, you know, all the typical social media outlets and, um, and just call one of our people, you know, they'll be excited to tell you all about it and answer your questions. So, and I think yeah. that's the key, like you're saying, especially for corporate groups and weddings is just pick up the phone and call. And that way you can plan a customized experience and uh, make it something that everyone will remember. So tell them one more time, website, where do we go? Rockspringsrc.com and join us there. And we have a chat area if you want to chat. Um, so we'll, we'll figure out how to communicate. You just let us know your best way. Well, Chris, greatly appreciate all you and your amazing team are doing. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you so much, Jeremy.